Thank you. Okay, so my project is based on population growth and the limited food supply has. I'm not sure all of you are aware, but um, this past Halloween, the seven million, the seven billion child was brought into the world, and my project is dealing with the population growth of the earthworms and how it survives in the future. My hypoth my hypothesis is that with the um, overcrowded worms that we have, that some will grow, some will die. My um, materials that I've used for the project were um, t four earthworms, two containers, um, water, garden soil, a cool place, a notebook and pencil, a ruler, grab paper, and eggshells. And we germ, that's it. So here's how I came about completing it. Um, to summarize it up, I put four earthworms in its containers filled with soil and peat moss. After that, I, after I watered the soil to make it wet, moist, I, trans, I, tra I transferred, <laughs> sorry, I transferred the soil with the worms in it to another container. And as I did so, I counted the worms which I added to the soil. After that, I recorded its um, growth. Now, um, my results of my experiment was that there were many, sorry, when the, when the grass, y'all hush. <laughs> anyway, when the grass, according to the grass on the 29th, I'm not sure all you can see it, but on the grass showing the 29th of October and the 11th of November, the there was no change in the data points. Like for example, the second, third, and the fourth worms in the control group, which is represented by the blue lines, would be increased by a small percentage of it. Um, according to November 11th and the 25th, the eggshell group, which was the red lines, was almost the same as the um, two gr grass I showed you, except like it will have to be transfixed a little. And the the brand cereal group, which was the green lines, was represented in such a way that the worms eventually died during the um, time period. Other. <laughs> Other than that, it had no comparison. But if you notice on the 25th and the 9th of December, those graphs look just about the same, except for maybe a few mishaps in it. Um, there are many, there are many side factors to this experiment. Like one being that worms need to be um, kept in food and shelter. Oh yeah, I've also forgot the fact that they that they died due to the um, temperature and how it rapidly changes the outcome of the experiment. They can eat their weight in food almost every day, half their weight. When I did this experiment, they were fed almost every two weeks, and during that time, the temperature had to be above 55. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, that had to be above 55 degrees Fahrenheit. But still, some of them died. If you refer back to my hypothesis, my hypothesis was indeed correct because of the um, because it really didn't matter if they were in the control group or the exponential group, which was caused by the results of the data you see here. Basically, that's basically that's it, except for my conclusion. My conclusion was pretty much the same thing as the results. Even though there are more worms that survived, there, three of them survived, and just the rest died. The control group and the brand cereal group had no growth in the remaining worms. When I looked back, when I looked back on the graphs, they had, 
When I looked back on the graphs, the hypothesis that I predicted was, as I said before, right. Um, according to it, though, the population of the food supply and some of the worms caused it to grow. Half of it grew, half of it died. Basically, that's just it. Any questions? You? Nate? Person? Can you repeat that? When the lifespan infected it, um, actually, it infected pretty much. It was caused by some slope in it. Next, Brianna. Um, yeah, there were by two week controls, such. Taylor? What was your hypothesis? The overcrowded worms, some of it, with it, they, some will grow, some will die. Winter? How many worms did you have in the beginning of the Four. Next. Really? Hey, I'll get. So, by warming the. Um, not really. Alexis. My question was that how would the statistic affect the food supply? Because okay, next. I said, even though there were worms that survived, three of them survived, and the rest died. If you, and then, like I said, if you refer to my hypothesis, half died and some, same, some grow. Some grew, and basically that's it. Any more? Yes? Can you not use any more words?